In this video, we're going to take a look at how to register your domain names. And I'm going to show you the process of getting your domain names through two of the most popular websites on the internet, which is godaddy.com and namecheap.com. So let's start with godaddy.com. Uh, this is probably the screen that you will see when you go to godaddy.com. So the first thing you want to do is type in the domain name that you want right here and select the extension, uh, the top level domain. It could be a .com, .net, .me, .info and GoDaddy also sells you uh, tons of other top level uh, domain extensions. So I'm going to type in, for example, I'm going to type in PLR WordPress. Now GoDaddy tells me here that plrwordpress.com is already taken. Now this is not surprising. For most popular domain names, uh, chances are very, very high that you will not be able to get the domain name, especially if it's a one word or two word domain name. Uh, in the case that uh, your domain name is no longer available, there are a few uh, methods you can use to actually get a very similar domain name or even uh, if you want to register a completely different and a new domain name. But I'm going to show you how to register uh, a very similar domain name. So if the domain name that you want is no longer available, you can always add a dash uh, between the words to get a very similar domain name and click on search. And what do you know? the domain name plr-wordpress.com is available and GoDaddy will also show you all the other options available so for example if you want to register this domain name to create a branding effect then you'll probably want to get the .net and the .org as well or if you have enough budget you could get all different variations of top de uh, level domains to protect your brand name but for most cases, you'd probably just want to register the .com. And as you scroll down, you'd see that GoDaddy also gives you other variations of the domain names that you can get, um, which is number one, it's a variation on the top level domain, for example, plrwordpress.biz. And second option that you have here is uh, premium domain names. These domain names are already registered by someone else and they are selling it off in godaddy.com. Uh, the price for a premium domain name would usually be very, very expensive. As you can see here, some of the related domain names automatically generated by GoDaddy, these domain names are usually in the thousands or even in the hundreds. So if you have the budget and you want a really cool domain name, you could go for that. And if you scroll down, you will see other variations uh, according to GoDaddy's search engine. So once you're satisfied, just click on proceed to check out. Now, the thing with GoDaddy is that it has a very, very effective and some would say annoying sales process where they sort of um, tempt you to get as much domain names as possible so that they can make more money out of you. But if you do not want any other offers in GoDaddy, just click on continue to check out. If you're an existing customer at godaddy.com, then you put in your customer login name and password. And once you've logged in, all your registration information will be filled up automatically. But if you're not an existing customer, then you need to fill up your name, email address, and other details and click on continue. And one very important thing you need to check is, uh, as I mentioned before, GoDaddy would try to sell you more and more stuff. And by default, the registration length of your domain name right here could be set to five years or even two years. So if you only want to register this domain name for one year, you have to manually edit it and put it as one here. And there are other options that GoDaddy uh, suggests you get. But if you do not want to get those options, then you pretty much have to ignore all this uh, upsells right here right and just click on no thanks I'm ready to check out and again GoDaddy would try a very last-minute attempt to 
sell you more stuff by allowing you to upgrade to five year registration and so on. But if you do not want those things, then just scroll to the bottom here and select your payment method. It could pay by credit card or it could even pay by PayPal. And you have to agree to the terms and conditions of the GoDaddy service. And then you click on check out. And that's how you register a domain name in GoDaddy.com. Now, the other service that I want to talk about is Namecheap.com. It's also a very popular place to go to get your domain names. It has less options than GoDaddy.com. And uh, it's pretty much a very straightforward process. So I'll just type in the domain name that I want. I can choose to get the .com, .net, etc. But I'm just going to get the .com version. Click on search. And here Namecheap tells me that plrwpvideos.com is available. So I'm just going to click on add to cart. And on this screen, you can select the duration of your domain name. By default, I think Namecheap would pull it to one year. Uh, but if you want to register it, for a longer period of time, you have to edit it here and then you can click on standard checkout. Okay, so the process in Namecheap is a bit different in the sense that you need to create an account at Namecheap in order to register the domain names. So if you already have an account, just put in your login and password here. But if you don't have an account, you can always uh, sign up for a new account before you register your domain name. Now, since I already have a Namecheap account, I'm just going to go ahead and log in. Put in your, your name, your company name, and also your billing address as well in this section. And click on continue to options. When you register a domain name at Namecheap.com, you'll be given a free WhoisGuard protection. A who is guard protection basically uh, protects your personal details from appearing in many domain name uh, services or who is services. So you can either enable this free who is guard later or you can do it right now when you are going to register your domain name. Then click on continue to options. And then Namecheap will prompt you for the DNS or domain name server settings. Now, if you do not already have a web hosting account, you can just leave it as use our free name service. But if you have a web hosting account and you know the web host DNS servers, then you can enter the DNS servers into this section here. And then scroll to the bottom and click on continue checkout. With Namecheap, you can upload funds to your Namecheap account so that it will be easier for you to uh, be buying domain names in the future. Uh, you would only want to do this if you're buying a lot of domain names. And in my account, I already have a $73 balance. So I'm going to pay using the funds available in my account. But if you do not have any funds available in your account, you can pay directly using the credit card. And finally, click on charge and process. And my domain name has been successfully registered at namecheap.com. So I just click on continue. So that's how you register a domain name in namecheap.com and also at godaddy.com.